More people are now in quarantine after a Tahlequah student tested positive for COVID-19. The student had limited contact with other students, but four students and one teacher now have to self-isolate for 14 days after they were exposed. Yesterday, the district said a Greenwood Elementary staff member who also contracted the virus exposed one other person. Both are now in quarantine. Now, all this comes after Tahlequah High School special education teacher Teresa Horn died from complications related to COVID-19. Tonight, her daughter is speaking out about her mother's battle with the disease and some of the misinformation she says was spread on social media. Two Works For You's Brady Halbleib joins us now with what she wants you to know in a story that you'll see only on two. Brady. Well, Danny Haggard says that there's been a lot of misinformation surrounding her mother's death. Now she wants the community to know who she was and what she meant to the Tahlequah High School community. And I was really grateful for the mom that I got. A teacher, a great friend, and an even better mother. That's how people describe Teresa Horn. Through all of this, it's making me strive to be more like her now. Teresa, or Miss Horn as her students would call her, died Friday due to a heart-related issue after contracting COVID-19. Mourning the death of her mother, Danny took to Facebook for support. But she says misinformation on social media made it difficult for her and her family to grieve. I have no idea where they came from. But to take something and kind of turn the words around and to say that my dad was in the hospital was not accurate. Um, so I didn't want to get calls on top of that, worrying about my father, why this had all just happened. Now she wants the public to know who her mother was and what she meant to her colleagues, family, and her students. I had no idea the impact she really had on people and coworkers. I mean, but really seeing the light that she brought out and other people and they really clung to that. Teresa was such a godly person. I, I know that, that um, she's at peace and, and so that has helped me. Ruth Petit worked alongside Teresa in the special education department for 26 years. She says it won't be the same without her. We helped each other a lot and it's gonna, I'm gonna miss that. You know, not only personally with me as far as a friend, but she'll be missed as a teacher. In her second year as a speech pathologist at Tahlequah High School, Danny says she knows how important her mother was to her students. She would tell me if it's her time, it's her time, but she cared for students. A lot of those students rely on teachers more than their own family. A devout Christian, Teresa never missed a day of church. Her daughter tells me that a few other churchgoers came down with the illness and she may have contracted it there. In the studio, Brady Halbleib, Two Works For You.